Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority and the Ministry of Finance commissioned a study which confirmed that Uganda's housing situation is dire because of inadequate homes in terms of quantity and quality and that the older persons were most affected. The current housing deficit stands at 2.4 million housing units and an estimate of 900,000 units are substandard or need renovation. Older persons are among those that are most adversely affected by the housing crisis in, in our country. Older persons constitute 4.3 percent of Uganda's total population and more than 98 percent of them live in rural areas. While addressing journalists at the Uganda Media Center, the executive director of UBRA revealed that funds that have been saved by members are readily available. You cannot get into this space if you've not saved for retirement. And we are saying that the population that has saved to date has saved around 19 trillion. It's available in this market. It's invested prudently and it is owned by members out there. So we think that other than those members who have these assets or who have this money as their retirement benefit and they retire without a home, it will be a disgrace and an embarrassment to us. Minister for Finance Matia Kasaija today officially announced that UBRA will start offering loans to help improve and maintain the housing conditions of members. What you have accumulated in the scheme should help you to go to any bank and borrow and use your savings as a security, particularly to put up a little house when you eventually retire. Members, however, have been warned against trying to access retirement benefits prematurely. Crude retirement benefits shall only be used as collateral for securing a mortgage or housing loan. Elderly people often find it hard to improve their housing conditions due to lack of financial resources and support forcing them to live in less than desirable conditions. Ubra has for long been urging Ugandans to save early to guard against old age poverty.